Hey boys and girls, we wanted to take this week and just re-hit a little bit about standard form, word form, and expanded form outside of the buzz system. Uh, so we want to make a couple of videos for you all this week just to make sure that maybe we can give you some hints to make this process a little bit easier. Uh, so today we're only going to be talking about standard form and word form. Uh, tomorrow we'll add in the expanded form and I'll show you some hints of how to do it. Uh, a couple of things, we need to know the definitions. What is standard form? What is word form? What do you mean? So when we hear the word standard form, what we're talking about is this is the number written as a number. Be sure to include commas when necessary. What do you mean a number written as a number? So if you have a number 12,411, 12,411, we're just going to write it as a number. 12,411. That is number form. It's written as a number. That's all, that, that's all it means. Word form. Word form is verbally, to verbally state the standard form of the number correctly and write what you say. Be sure to include commas when necessary. So when it's in word form, you are going to verbally say it and then write what you say. So let's look at this number that we just said. We said that this number is 12,411. We just have to write that, just what we said. So we start out with 12,000. So I'm going to write 12, now, check this out. This is the comma part that I put down here. Be sure to include commas. I just wrote 12,000, right? What is after that 12? A comma. So yeah, we have to put a comma in there. Now we just have to write the rest of the number. So we said 12,000. What's the rest? 411. Yep, you're, you guessed it. We have to write 411. So we're going to write 4, and I'm out of room, so I'm just going to skip down, 111. That's it. So we're going to do a couple of examples. For today, I didn't put on here if we're right in standard form or word form. That's the only two we're dealing with. So if they give us the standard form of a number, we're writing the word form. If they give us the word form of a number, we're going to write the standard form. All right? So let's do a couple of these. So here is our first number. I did put our uh, place value chart up here just so that, in case you forget what value each column's worth, it's back there for you so you can see it. But our first number is right here. This is the number form of that word. What's that number? I heard somebody say it. Yeah, good job. Yeah, it's, we're going to look at this first thing before the comma. We have nine what? Thousand. So we have to write nine thousand using words. So we're going to write nine thousand. And then right after we have our nine, we have our comma there. So what do we have to put in? We have to put the comma after nine thousand. Okay, what's left? We have this number right here. How do you say that number right there? Yep, I heard somebody else say it. 324. So we have to write that. 324. That's what we write. So we're going to write 324. We're finished. Mr. Drake, I saw you put a dash between 20 and 4. Why is that? Oh, good question. Uh, the reason that we put a dash between 20 and 4, if we have two numbers that's not separated by like any words, uh, kind of like 100, you know, we had 300, that's a word. But we have two numbers that's not separated by any, any words. I'm sorry, any words. If it's number and number and they're put together, we put the dash between it. So we have the number 20, and we have the number 4. Those are both numbers. We put a dash between them. Good question. Okay, we'll continue. 
Whoops, I went the wrong way. Oh, so this one, it gave us, it gave us the words. We have to turn it into a number. So we have 14,297. All right, so what do we have first? What's before the comma? We have 14,000. Well, if I'm thinking about my place value chart, I know that that 1,000 is right here. And right after 1,000, that's where a comma goes. Look, they even put the comma there for you. So we can write 14 first. How do we write 14? Yep, it's a 1 and a 4. And then I'm going to put the comma, because it even told me right after we write 14, we put the comma in. It told us that. So what's left? 297. How do you write 297 using numbers? No, that's wrong. Somebody else. Okay, I heard it that time. 297. 297. That's it. So let's do another one. 139,010. 139,010. They gave us words. We have to write the number. 139,000, and I see right after that, there's that dreaded comma. So I know I have to write that, and then I can put my comma in there because they gave me the comma. So I'm going to look at my thousand column. It's up here. So yeah, I can write 139. How do I write 139? 139. And I have to put that comma in because they told us to put a comma there. Okay. What do I have to write next? 10. Now this is going to get a little confusing. So I'm going to write down 10. What's wrong with that? looks weird. Yeah. There should be three numbers in here because we have to have three digits in order to put in a comma. So what's missing? Yeah, we have to put a zero in the hundreds column because it didn't have any hundreds. It didn't say any hundreds in here. It just said the number 10. So we had to write the number 10, but because of place value, when we put that 10 in here, we had one extra spot here where the number wasn't. We didn't have any hundreds, so we had to put the zero in there. That was easy. We can do that. Last one for today. Oh, they gave us a number. 36,802. We have to turn this into words. How do we do it? We say it, and we write what we say. So somebody, real quick, yell it at me. I heard somebody say it. 36,802. That's what we write. We say it, we write it. We say it, we write it. So we're going to write 36. Check it out. There's two numbers squeezed together. What do we have to put in there? The dash. 36. 36 what? Thousand. We have to write thousand. They told us what? Put the comma in after 1,000. What's left? 802. We write it. 802. That's it. Uh, Mr. Drake, you screwed up. What did I screw up? Well, you have 8 and 100, and they're pushed together, and you don't have a comma. No, it's right. 100 is not a number. 100 is a number. 100 is not a number. 100 is just a place value column. Now, I hear some of you all talk. You say, Mr. Drake, $100 bill. Yeah, but that's not proper. It's $100 bill. Okay. Now, I know some of you thought this was a little difficult. Some might have thought it was easy. Uh, if you are one of the people that thought it was pretty easy, uh, right below this video, I'm going to have a second video Ms. Kreitz is going to do for us. And she's going to include these decimal spots after. Now that is a fifth grade skill, but some of you fourth graders, you're ready for it. 
If you could take just a couple of minutes, watch her video, you might actually learn all about how to do what we're doing here, including the decimals tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So if you thought this was easy, I can't believe Mr. Drake just made me watch this, go ahead and watch her video because you might actually learn something from it. All right, thanks everybody.